Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another installment of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for joining me. It is good to be back here, um, getting back into the swing of it. Uh, just, it's been a, it's been um, a bit of a purgy few days. I know for myself, um, and I was talking to Betsy of Fearless Intuition about it, and. Uranus is in Aries, and I was reading about that, and that's, um, it's an energy that influences us to be a greater version of ourselves in a more authentic way, and so I've been feeling those energies, <laughs> that's for sure, but um, I'm getting back into the swing of it. Very happy to be back here doing this for the collective. This is going to be a general energy reading for the day of January 10th, 2019. Um, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because this is a general reading. It's not specific to anything, not sign, love, career, whatever. It's just whatever messages spirit has for us at this moment in time, whatever they would like to discuss is what we go and talk about, okay? Um, uh, I do have some really great news. I am back at Om Shanti officially. Um, I'll actually be starting tomorrow, uh, January 11th, but I'm going to be there every Friday from 11 to 5, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you are in the New York City metro area and you would like to come get an in-person reading or just meet, say hi, chat, you know, do whatever, shoot the shit, come on by. It's a great shop. I really love it. I'm very excited to be there. So, yeah. Okay, um, I believe that's it. So, let's get started. Alrighty, guys. Tea, morning coffee. Oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Mm. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today. Monday, January, I'm sorry, it's so not Monday. <laughs> it is definitely Thursday <laughs> for today, Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Okay, here we go. So, um, also, I do want to let you guys know I am going to be working on the mid-monthly uh, Zodiac readings for January. I didn't do the full month because I was working on the six-month forecasts, but now we're mid-January, so I want to get an update for us. So I'm going to be working on that. It should be out by the latest, the 15th. So, woo! <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. January 10th. I woke up with the song um, Dance With Me by Kesha in my head. It's off her latest album. Um, and I, as I was looking into it, deciphering, you know, what messages spirit might have surrounding that. And um, it was a situation where spirit was like, come on, Eric, let's dance again. Let's, let's, let's get into these energies. Let's do this. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> I'm with it. Let's do it. <laughs> One more shuffle, guys. All right. January 10th. Let's see what we've got for today. Thursday, January 10th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much. For today. Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well... There we go. Three of Cups. Three of Cups is the first card out here. Um, already, this is a union card. Um, but to me, this can definitely mean a union or a reconciliation. Um, I'm picking up, especially with the energies that we're going through right now, this is definitely a union card, but it's union within uh, of uh, mind, body, and spirit. So like, in essence, the Holy Trinity or this also could be 
a big thing, a big message here is the union of masculine, feminine, and inner child. And that was something that came through with the Twin Flame readings, um, or reading, excuse me, this past Sunday. And then also even the morning coffee after that on Monday. Um, that's definitely the energy that I'm getting here with this. Uh, what I'm feeling already is that this is a, a, a greater sense of security. We do have the moon on this card. Now this is the moon child tarot. So there are a lot of images of the moon here in this deck. But what the moon is speaking to here is uh, the subconscious. It's, it's really being pointed out to me right now. So this is the subconscious mind. This is subconscious cleansing. Um, so like me personally, I've been going through a little bit of a purgy situation and it's been deep rooted. Um, and these purging cycles really aren't ever going to really end. Uh, it's a major part of our existence process, whether we are in the physical world or in the spiritual world, like whether wherever we're oriented, you know, whether it's in a physical life at that moment in time or it's in just your spiritual life moving on beyond the physical. There are going to be moments where things are going to come up that need healing. Um, and it's a continuous cycle, a continuous spiral. And the more you do it, the more you embrace it, the better you get. I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to say it gets easier because it does depend on your, your, your own personal process, your own personal situation. But here, there is some deep cleansing happening um, on a subconscious level, especially with Uranus in... Aries, this is definitely the energies of working on promoting being a more authentic version of yourself. And the biggest thing I'm getting with this is just clearing out some deeply rooted cycles, situations, circumstances um, that continue to perpetuate a uh, uh, less than authentic way of life. Yeah. All right. So with that being the theme here, let's see what else we got for today. Please, spirit. Today, January 10th, 2019. Ah, look at that. The King of Swords. That's perfect. That is so perfect. Let's see what else we get. Okay. All right. Well, we're doing this one card at a time, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this and then I'll get one more pull. But the King of Swords coming out here is so perfect because... Um, especially on a collective level, we are in the process of healing the inner divine masculine, of untwisting the masculine energies, of purging out the systems or the cycles that promote imbalance between the masculine and the feminine. Um, and also the King of Swords is very logical very very logical and very emotionally detached so it's interesting to be quite honest it's it's interesting that we're getting a card of emotion with the three of cups cups being emotion um, and in this circumstance it's talking about purging and healing and growing and uh, uh, cleansing and it's coming up with the king of swords which is both the king and the queen of swords are very emotionally detached, very detached. Like they're, they're more logically oriented. Um, and so it's an interesting combination, but actually when you think about it, it's perfect because this king of swords energy is definitely, you know, the masculine side of things. And even though it's, it's an, a, a card of being somewhat aloof, um, it, it's still in this circumstance, this King of Swords energy is still rooted in um, healthy, deep, but also healthy emotional reality. And so this is the energy of helping to do, really do that purge. Now, the King of Swords is slightly different than the Queen of Swords in the sense that um, he is more opt to give you a second chance. Well, not necessarily a second chance. Yes, a second chance, but he's not necessarily more inclined towards that than the queen of swords it's just that he is an energy that will he's diplomatic so he will hear you out he, regardless of whether he's you know made up his mind or anything he will still give you the chance to explain yourself i guess we can say the queen of swords is not is not so inclined to do that like as soon as she's made up her decision you know, she's not trying to go back and forth because she sees it as a waste of time. The King of Swords is a little different. He's more diplomatic than that. Okay, but this is actually an, an excellent energy to have on the side of 
uh, the emotions on the defensive side of the emotions you know this is like the the ultimate knight in shining armor you can almost say and this is definitely energy coming from within okay so this is your inner masculine it could be there we go especially since ugh, page of swords now wow and now the cards are just falling out okay we're gonna stop there um this also could be an air sign you know just uh, this this is a general reading so you could there could be some reconciliation around someone that has a that has air in their chart maybe you have air in your chart um but it doesn't even have to be an air sign it could just be someone that is incredibly logically based now this could be you or this could be the other person um in that respect uh we'll get into the rest of the cards but in that respect you know i do see someone that is very uh, overly masculine is what i'm hearing um, and that meaning uh, masculine being the, the realm of logic. And so this could be someone that is like overly logical, um, overly cynical, uh, potentially. But there's cleansing. Come if, there, if we're talking about any sort of negative air or negative king of swords traits, um, it's definitely in the process of healing and cleansing, okay, with this three of cups that's here. And coming into a greater sense of balance and union. Ooh, wow. Okay, we, so we do have the Two of Cups underneath the deck. Now, the Two of Cups, uh, often it does symbolize a romantic relationship, especially, you know, in tarot readings, because a lot of people do want, you know, information on love. But this also could be just a friendship, okay? So there are definitely energies of desiring, wanting to, or needing to reconcile in some way, but... Spirit is saying, first and foremost, you have to find this reconciliation within in order to be comfortable or in order to have the door open for that reconciliation in the physical realm, all right? Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is definitely talking about that balance in relationships. And this is what the King of Swords is actually really focused on right now the balance between give and take, the reciprocity. And if it's not there, then he's very much willing to cut it out. I am feeling energies of, you know, being willing to hear someone out on a situation. It doesn't have to happen right away. Um, and actually what I'm feeling right now is this is a time of working through this on an internal level and then and helping to build yourself up towards being open to that reconciliation so this is finding that reconciliation within first um let's see what else we have here wow yeah okay justice so there's a lot of contemplation there's a lot of justice here and um Again, what Spirit is saying is this, is this is this process is happening internally first. And that's really how you want to approach spiritual existence or just existence as a whole. Starting within, doing the cleansing and the healing there, and then allowing that to manifest in, the, in your life. So part of that um, healing, cleansing, involves detachment. Boop. King of Swords. Detachment. Okay, you have to be removed from the outcome and a time frame. Just the, the, the best thing to focus on is what's your internal reality. And that's kind of what this next card here, the Page of Swords, is talking about. Yes, we do have energies of someone potentially watching you, um, trying to figure things out. This could potentially be the other person that you may be uh, somewhat at odds with. Um, they could be watching you, social media and whatnot. But this is also an energy of seeking and learning and going within and understanding. And then that's then connected to these two cards here, Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is an energy of the inner fire is what I'm getting here. Um, inner truth, inner light, spiritual reality, understanding the self uh, much better. Ten of Pentacles is the longevity. It is the long-term goals. It's the long-term investment. What I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles here is that this is representing um, your overall life process because now we're talking physical here, right? Because this is Pentacles. Um, and of course, it's, it's a spiritual reality too, but 
we're focused on the physical manifestation of this right now because that is what's in focus planetarily your authenticity how you approach your your life moving forward how you um how you see yourself how you handle yourself the people that you associate with the businesses that you associate with the way that you work uh, your money your finances if 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 this isn't authentic and that's also what the knight of wands is talking about here it's authenticity spiritual reality spiritual truth if that's not in alignment then right now is the time to really focus on that bring that into view understand it gain some information and bring some sort of justice to the situation the situation being your life right and finally we have the ace of pentacles here and it has come up in reverse but that's not a bad thing i'm hearing starting over okay and so this whole process the, the this ace of pentacles being in reverse here is not bad it's just it just means that you know specifically to this situation it's saying that you know there is a fresh start here um, I'm hearing new money new forms of money are coming into play some of you may really be focused on um, reshaping your finances um, uh, it's starting a new job going in a new direction career wise and that king of swords energy here is really helping you especially with the three of cups this is again like i said it's a union card and in this situation we're talking about the union between masculine and feminine um masculine feminine and inner child mind body and spirit it's greater integration of your own divine truth that is leading you in this new direction to bring greater justice into your life and um, with an overall look of the long term like so you, you could be saying to yourself right now okay where do i see myself in five ten years whatever it doesn't even have to be that long this could just be you focusing on the year ahead of you right and how you can bring greater authenticity into your life and so that is generating a new start we do have the ace of pentacles even though it's in reverse a new opportunity um i i, I feel like there for many of you um this is something that is in the works by on behalf of the universe right now like it's in the background being developed uh in the process of manifestation through any sort of cleansing and healing and purging that you're going through and a main focus for this new authentic expression is the balance of give and take not wanting to be working with associating with people that are just going to take from you and not give back narcissistic energy in that sense right there's a big purge of that kind of energy uh narcissistic sociopathic um uh, abusive manipulative uh, energetic vampirism that kind of thing those situations are really being purged out of the collective out of existence is what spirit just said um, because it's no longer serving and it, it served for a while in the fact that it's gotten it to us to this point where we can see the detriment and, and we can start to move past that purge that out whether that be you purging out your own narcissistic or manipulative ten tendencies or purging the belief systems that keep you connected to or manifesting situations in which you're dealing with that kind of energy yeah and that is absolutely bringing you a brand new start and that is absolutely where the focus on the longevity on the on the forward focus the the long term the future um, is definitely coming into play here all right so let's get to the clarification section i'm going to start with the top row six of pentacles king of swords and justice okay here we go so six of pentacles king of swords and justice please spirit please clarify mm -hmm. 
Wow, okay, so this is excellent. Wow, that's so funny. All right, well, so we've got a ton of wands here. Um, and actually, the first, I thought the first card that came out was the Ten of Wands, but now, actually, the Ten of Wands is underneath the deck, and that's so perfect. Um, because we're dealing with the burdens here, okay? And this is for both parties. Um, whatever you're going through, if it does involve another person, I am, or a group of people even, I am picking up energies of reality starting to set in and the burdens being illuminated here, okay? Those burdens are um, actions. And I'm hearing narcissism pretty strongly, but it's like narcissistic tendencies. I feel like for... Uh, a large group of people right now within the collective, those tendencies are really coming to the forefront and something's having to be done about it. Me and other readers, you know, out there, we have really been channeling lately that this is a time of not really being able to escape the bull to escape your bullshit any longer. Um, you're, you're being forced to face it. Now, how you handle it is totally up to you. That, that is an element of free will that still is standing. But um, with that said, keep in mind that, you know, spirit has every intention of purging this and helping us be greater, more authentic versions of ourselves. And even someone that suffers from some sort of narcissistic tendencies has their own shit to deal with. It's not because they're a bad person intrinsically. It's just... They're a product of their environment or they're a product of the things that they've been through in life. So, you know, there's always a reason for it. So there's always um, room for compassion and understanding, okay? We have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and, wow, strength, okay. Wow. Lots of fiery energy, lots of Leo energy between the Six of Wands and strength. Uh, we also have a Sagittarian energy with the um, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is communication. It's also movement, rapid movement, just moving forward. And a lot, and especially with strength coming out, clarifying these three, which includes justice. Um, finally, someone has the ability or the strength to really stand up for themselves, you know, to be more authentic. And on, regardless of how the situation plays out initially, or at least regardless of how it's played out so far, um, when you assert yourself in a non-confrontational way, um, not really to start drama, but to, or to start pick a, pick a fight, but to just stand your ground and enforce your own personal boundaries, you, you do have a victory. Okay, and that's a victory for everybody, Six of Wands. It's a victory for everybody. It's for, the per for both sides of the party or the equation because it provides each individual or each player in whatever game an ability to see things clearer and make some changes for themselves. So ultimately, it's always a victory, okay? And there's definitely some energy of releasing the burdens, Ten of Wands. But in order to release the burdens, you have to be aware of them first. And that's the process that we're going through or this, uh, these individuals that I'm, I'm channeling for are going through, okay? We do have two tens, which is crazy um, because I've been seeing 10-10 a lot lately. Um, and double tens have been coming out in these readings quite often for me personally, so I, I wanted to point that out here. Um, and that ten, seeing ten ten, I know a lot of us have have actually been seeing that. That is a number of completion, you know, bringing things full circle, and, and accessing higher realms of awareness because of it. Yes. All right. So now we're going to clarify the page of swords, knight of wands, and ten of pentacles. Please, spirit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, underneath the deck is the Page of Cups. This is um, apologetic energy, yes, but I'm seeing this as more of, you can call it more of a, 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 a compassionate energy, and I'm really seeing that as starting with the self, okay, this compassionate energy. And then from there, it can, it can be allowed to extend or to flow into your outer reality. We have the King of Swords again. 
And we also have the Ten of Swords now. So there is a lot of completion here, guys. Whether this is a situation in which you are potentially reconciling with these people or this person, um, you know, soon or later on down the road, or whether it's just a situation of the, les the lesson have been learned and now the situation is being released, is being purged, the Lorst is behind you, and so now you can close out this situation, um, bring it to completion, okay? There's definitely energies of feeling or recognizing the major cycles that have helped create this situation and being able to put those thought processes um, to rest or to break down, dismantle those belief systems that got you into this situation to begin with. And of course, all of this is in service of the longevity or the future forward movement here, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles and also the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> There's definitely a level of maturity with the King of Swords coming out twice here, okay? There's definitely a level of maturity that is required or that has been assumed in this situation, yeah? So that's a good thing. You're either acting from a place of maturity or you're learning to be more mature in a mental sense, okay? So now, uh, we're going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What is this new opportunity that's manifesting? Death. All right. Underneath the deck is the Hanged Man. Okay. Excellent. This makes perfect sense. Uh, hanged Man is here underneath the deck and we're clarifying the ace of pentacles in reverse so like i said the ace of pentacles is here and so there is a brand new start that's coming there's a new opportunity um there's a new way of life a new manifestation that is brewing it's in the process but in order to be able to receive this gift from the universe this new start whatever you have to go through the transformation process death and it's so perfect that it's coming out with the hanged man because we are very much in this somewhat limbo situation where we feel, we might feel stuck, we might feel trapped in a sense, um, we might feel a little stagnant, but if you are feeling stagnant, it's because you're becoming aware of these processes that, uh, the processes, the thoughts, the, the actions, the tendencies, whatever. It's all becoming illuminated, so that's allowing you to become enlightened to the situation. And as you go through that, you go through the transformation that allows this new beginning to come forward. Again, this is a spirit is is asking me to remind everybody that this is a continuous process. It is a continuous cycle uh, that just gets deeper and deeper over time. Um, and I. I I do feel some, as I'm saying that, some people are getting a bit anxious. It's like, I don't want to have to deal with this all the time. But, you know, that's existence. Um, and like I said, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become with it, the easier it gets, to be quite honest. Even though, you know, you might go through some pretty extreme periods every once in a while, the, the, the practice makes perfect, right? So the more you embrace it, the more you seek to understand the more you seek to find the lesson and the healing and the growth potential within any sort of situation, the easier it will get to handle, right? Um, so there's definitely a transformation happening here and a brand new start that's coming out of it. It could be a new job, um, better finances, um, or just a new physical expression, especially since we're talking in terms of wanting to be more authentic, okay? So finally, let's clarify the Three of Cups here. What is this divine union, mind, body, and spirit? Masculine, feminine, and inner child. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, boy. Okay. Underneath the deck is the moon. 
So like I said, uh, originally when I was looking at this card, there are definitely energies of purging, releasing, and the subconscious. Um, there, is, there might be a good amount of fear involved with this. And the fear is coming from having to face things, finally being forced to face things that you, know, you refused to face um, in the past. Uh, for fear of retribution or for fear of just seeing that side of yourself. But in order for you to heal from it, in order to, for, you, for you to grow from it, to learn the lessons from it, you have to face it, okay? Um, this might be a little bit of a dark night of the soul situation. I am getting somewhat of seasonal depression here with the moon, but ultimately it's all in um, favor of purging. Now, the really interesting thing here is that we have the Ten of Cups now, but also the Ten of uh, Wands came back out. So between the two decks, we have all of the Tens here. Ten of Cups, Wands, Swords, and... Um, no, yeah, yes, and Pentacles. So definitely a lot of completion. All of this, and also this Ten of Cups energy here, especially the way it's depicted in this deck, is again another um, symbol of divine union, um, ultimate fulfillment. Uh, the, again, it's the, you know, the, the spiritual family in the masculine and feminine and inner child that make up who you are. Um, and burdens are being released surrounding that or are either being released or being observed, uh, brought to light that keeps that union from happening within. So you're releasing um, burdens that will allow you to have more space for more of that divine union to manifest into your life. You have the two of wands and the seven of wands. Okay, so there's definitely a new direction that's coming up here through this purging, through this healing, and there are greater boundaries being put in place. And this is definitely an energy of a hard pass, not letting anything come in the way of your union with self, your balance within yourself. Um, and that's really beautiful. And then finally, wow, look at that. We have the nine of pentacles. Being sure of yourself is the very first thing that I, uh, that I heard. Uh, Self-confidence, um, rewards for work well done. So the more you really dive into these processes of purgings and more of you take advantage of these opportunities to heal and to grow and to understand yourself on a deeper level, the more you will be rewarded by the universe, the more abundant you, the abundance you will experience, you will manifest into your life. This is definitely an energy of being clear and calm clear conscience wise, clear of any sort of attachments, any burdens. This is someone that stands on their own and does their own thing. You know, they're very independent. They're very sure of themselves. They're very abundant. They are, um, they're good at what they do. They work hard. They, you know, they work really hard um, on manifesting what it is they truly desire. And, and, and as a result, there are um, rewards coming through for that and I did specifically hear union energies the autonomy independence you know it could even be it could for some of you it could symbolize being single so you might be uh, releasing yourself from some sort of relationship um, if we are talking about a relationship for here for you if that's resonating with you what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it can go one of two ways. Either you are working on manifesting um, a new start with this person that you're in this relationship with, or you're manifest, or you're not really accepting a new start with this person, and so the situation is dying out, is transforming. You're releasing yourself from the situation. You're releasing the situation, the burdens of the situation. You're going through a transformation and ultimately manifesting something new with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? That's really beautiful. But now if it's also, if it's an energy of you are um, working on reconciling or having a brand new start with this person, it's ad either advised or you are taking it from this point of view of being full within yourself, knowing yourself better, have it being more stable and more grounded within the self, um, as an independent individual that will only aid in the service of that relationship moving forward, okay? The more people are 
sure of themselves or aware of themselves and confident and you know independent the better the chances a relationship has of not only continuing but growing into something more something better blossoming into into the new okay that's beautiful all right so oracle guidance here um we're gonna start with some animal spirit cards and then i'm gonna close the reading with the lightworker oracle Spirit Guidance for January 10th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Best messages, please. Best messages, please, Spirit. There we go. Lizard. Awesome. Ooh, and underneath the deck is Lion. So more Leo energy. Um, this is king-like energy. This is being, this is pride. Yes. It's success. Yes. Um, it is, uh, but what I'm getting with this lion is um, a greater, auto greater autonomy and um, passion um, and being sure of yourself, uh, more self-confidence, uh, more power over your domain, uh, taking responsibility also for your life, for your reality, what you experience, what you've gone through. I mean, knowing that, you know, you didn't do it all alone, but also knowing that you still played an intrinsic part in that situation in some way and owning that, taking responsibility for that and making some better choices or choose or, or switching things up to make things better for yourself. The official message is a lizard and there's a lot of fire i mean uh lion is a fire card lizard is a fire card you know there was a bunch of wands that came out so there's definitely a lot of lots of passionate energy lots of spiritual energy um and it's it's very inspiring definitely very inspiring where are you there you are all right lizard <clears throat> Instinctual, sensitive to the subtle, dreamer. The lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory perception. As if it has a sixth sense, the lizard hears what is yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is an amazing gift, it can easily wear the lizard down. Big crowds, lots of travel, or overstimulation will drain a lizard of their magical essence. This card is an indication to pull back from the bright lights and big city and return to the inner artist who's been whispering your name. When in balance, Lizard is artistic, telepathic, and spiritual. When out of balance, Lizard is elusive and non-committal and flaky. To bring into balance, one must uh, embark on or start a creative project, work on a creative project. And actually, that you know, that really makes perfect sense um, because of the hanged man that was underneath the deck with death that was clarifying this ace of pentacles in reverse okay when it was when this was talking about pulling away just pulling back for a while for a little bit uh the first thing i thought of was the hanged man energy and it could feel it could feel like a hanged man energy because you may not necessarily want to pull back i know many of us have been in a a pretty strong hermit mode lately um, but for some of you, it's like this This is a burden because you don't want to be pulled back. You don't want to be disconnected. You want to still be out with friends or whatnot, whatever. And this is just a time to really get back to the self, okay? So try and use this time as wisely as possible. Alrighty. So to close out the reading, we've got the Lightworker Oracle. Best message for today's mess or today's reading, January tenth, twenty nineteen. Thank you so much, Spirit. Best message, please, Spirit. There we go. 
Oh. Ah, underneath the deck is card number nine, Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. And that's the compassionate energy coming through, the unconditionally loving energy coming through. Um, and, you know, being expressed towards the self first, but then also allowing that to extend outward. So, wow. I'm telling you guys, a lot of fire energy, okay? Because you have card number 22, initiation by fire. And also, I, I know that many of us have been seeing um, the numbers 222 or, you know, just twos recently. Um, and that, to me, has been speaking to harmony and balance in the situation. Specifically, uh, what I'm picking up for this message right here, right now, in the form of 222, the three of them, that's Again, the Trinity, mind, body, and spirit. So there, uh, there's a balance coming into play there. It's talking about the union, but it's also talking about a completion of sorts and a healing and a rebalancing that's happening. It doesn't mean that you have to be associating with these people or, or whatnot. You don't necessarily have to be reconciling with them in a physical sense. Not, and that's not to say that it couldn't happen in the future. But it, right now, it's not necessary for any sort of physical re reconciliation to happen because it all has to happen uh, internally first, okay? So let's see what this card has to say. Card number 22, Initiation by Fire. Initiation by Fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. In letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and new life. You are, like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. And, you know, that's so perfect because um, for some of us or so for some of you out here this has to do with a job and specifically when I was reading that card what I was getting was that realize recognizing that you don't have to keep doing things keep working keep approaching your life in the same ways that you did in the past um, those are old and outdated and it's time for something new it's time to change it up it's time to um, uh, take on situations that lend more towards your authenticity. And that is quite beautiful. So there you have it, guys. Um, thank you for joining me for this. I'm very happy to be back in doing morning coffee. Uh, again, look out for the six, uh, the, uh, sorry, the uh, mid-January readings. Those are going to be out pretty soon. Again, if you are in the New York City metro area, I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop. Uh, the information is in the description box below. Um, I will be there tomorrow, uh, January 11th, and then every Friday after that, um, except for the last Friday of January and the first Friday of February, because there's a special guest coming in. But other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys there if you're around and you want to come say hi. Um, and, oh, and we've got morning. Oh, we've got a happy hour tonight. So if you're interested, come on by and hang out with us. Yeah. But I hope everyone has a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!